Namaste Soul Tribe Spiritual Healer back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens, Aries, male or female watching. Thank you so much for joining me for this video reading. Okay, so the first thing that I heard when I was connecting your energy and then I started to get a lot more messages. Um, I heard the illusions are fading. And you're starting to see things clear when it comes to an individual that's like an imposter around your life or in your energy. Some Somehow this person thinks they're getting away with some sort of manipulation or some sort of deceit in your energy, okay? So Aries, if you guys are dealing with somebody and like um, you're getting to know them or you're dating them or you've been dealing with this person off and on for some time, this person's giving me like um, trickster vibes. This person's also giving me like um, a non-committal type of person or they have an excuse to as to why they haven't made a real commitment to you yet and you've been seeing this person for some time. For somebody watching, this is not going to resonate with everybody, but I'm going to get into other messages that might resonate with you. So take what resonate, my love, and leave the rest. So Aries, male or female, I'm picking up on somebody that's been like... Um, Holding back some sort of truth from you. And you could have suspected that this person was hiding something. Um, because every time this person was with you, they were like always going to the bathroom. Or they were always making an excuse why they had to go outside to answer their phone. Or this person seemed to be very distracted. Um, looking over their shoulder. Especially if this person went out on a, you went out on a date with somebody. And they're, like, looking a little bit paranoid every time they're somewhere in the public. They're afraid, like, somebody's going to walk in there. And this is the energy I'm picking up on. Maybe you picked up on this before. If you went out with this person and it felt kind of awkward that this person was kind of nervous or looking around and kept walking away and going in the bathroom or something weird. Okay, and you, you were picking up on these red flags. If this hasn't happened yet, because all of you guys are on different timelines, I'm picking up on that this could be happening in the upcoming energy, all right? Somebody's been pursuing you, or you guys been dating, or getting to know each other, or um, this is coming in, okay? This could be coming in, this could, this could be happening now to someone watching, this could be upcoming energy, so be mindful how you take this message, because this for some of you guys, this is happening now, and some of you guys, this hasn't happened yet, okay? So you haven't met this person but you're gonna meet somebody or you met somebody and you've been seeing this person and this person's very handsome or attractive they seem cool they have a cool vibe or whatever you know this person likes to complain about their life to you or they've told you that you know they're basically not happy where they're at right now that they need to make some moves and they you know Maybe this person made an excuse why they weren't going to bring you over to their house on a date or they want to always come over to your house. You know, this person is hiding someone. They're hiding a family. They're hiding a, a wife or a husband because you. this could be a male or female that you're dealing with or that's coming towards you. And they're, this person is like a master manipulator or they're like a professional cheater or liar or something. This person is... Um, goes outside of their relationship in order to, like, um, I don't know, get some sort of cheap thrill, or this person likes to get a thrill out of doing things on the side and pretending to be single or available. This person could be, like, coming off as being successful, and they got money, they got this. They could be driving their, their, their wife or husband's car, telling you that's their car. They could be living in someone else's house but telling you they're living somewhere else. Like, somebody's coming to you with a lot of lies and illusions, so be careful. And I heard the illusions are fading and you're being crowned, okay? So I feel like you're going to find out or you've been having an intuition about somebody hiding something. This is just your confirmation if this is you watching, all right? Something isn't right with this person, but they have somebody else on the side, and but they don't live with this person because basically they're keeping this person as an option. They're giving this person a whole bunch of excuses why they can't live together because this person, you know, uh, uh, likes to stay at a friend's house or they like to stay at their mom's house or a family member's house so that they can freely and openly cheat and get into these other side relationships that never go nowhere because 
everyone always finds ends up finding out this person's a cheater or they have someone on the side. So you're very intuitive. This person is not going to get away with it. When it comes to you, you're figuring something out. I'm also picking up on a situation that's going to play out, and I saw the vision in my mind before I started recording this video. I seen a situation playing out. It's like two people are out on a date, okay? Mind you, this could be you and this person out on a date, okay? This could be you and this person out on a date, or this could be this person and the person they're with out on a date, and you catch them. Because somebody here, whether it's you or this person, whether you're going to catch this person out on a date with somebody or they're going to get caught out on a date with you by someone else because there's a third party here. There's a, it's like a, like a love triangle here that you're not aware of. You wouldn't even spend time with this person if you had a clue. Okay, but there's somebody in their life or in your life that they're like GPSing a location. If you're GPSing somebody's location because you're suspicious that they're cheating, you're going to catch this person. There's going to be an argument, fight, altercation. It's going to get really messy. So I would avoid this if I were you. Going out in public with somebody, if you really don't know if they're seeing someone else, you have this intuition, they're hiding something, don't do it. Don't go out in public when this person invites you out to eat or somewhere because they're going to try to impress you just to keep you, just to keep stringing you along. You know what I mean? This person's going to try to impress you take you out to eat just to string you along and then somebody just pops up and it's embarrassing this person is like in the they're they're like accusing this person of being a liar they're a cheater they're looking at you they're calling you a homewrecker and this is going to be so embarrassing and this is going to be on camera because wherever this business is there's like cameras there or somebody's going to pull out their phone and start recording this whole incident when it plays out in a public place and this karmic that's going to pop up on somebody is like not playing they're going to start acting crazy, might put their hands on this person, all right, so if you're having an intuition that somebody is not telling you everything and that there's someone else, there is, if this person randomly makes excuses why they can't see you every night or they, you know, they have excuses why they, they got to go stay somewhere else or they can't stay with you tonight or something like that or they can't bring you to their house, there's something that they're hiding, okay, so pay attention to that because there's going to be a messy situation that plays out. Whether this person pops up on you and this person on a date, or you pop up on this person and another person, it's going to get messy regardless. Aries, male or female, if this is you, if you can't trust this individual, then cut them out or avoid this whole situation. Avoid it because it's not going to pay off. It's, it's going to get messy and the cops could come. Okay, that's all I'm saying. It's going to happen in a public place. So if somebody's inviting you somewhere public and you feel like this person, you know, has someone else and this could be playing out in your life, listen, don't even take the chance. Stay home. Okay? It ain't worth it. But you might have to have a serious talk with somebody. Okay? Because if this person is doing things, going MIA, not answering your calls at certain times, you know, making excuses to leave a lot of times, leaving the house, or just like if you guys don't live together but, you know, they want to cancel you. They, on your date, they canceled your date, it's because there's someone else, okay? All right, let's move right along. So the illusions are fading, and you're being crowned, all right? Somebody's going to send you a message. Like I already said, somebody's finding something out about somebody, and this, this person's going to come and confront you, or they're going to confront this person. Somebody's being confronted in this situation, and there's, like, uh, words being exchanged, a messenger's coming. Yeah. This is going to make you want to turn around and walk away. Or somebody's walking away because there was a, a situation that played out or it's playing out. And then somebody here is walking away. You or them. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, Queen of Swords. This could be you. You're in the Queen of Swords energy. You could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart. You could be dealing with an air sign as well. But there's a Queen of Swords here. Okay, here, Queen of Swords that knows the truth about something. And this Queen of Swords is going to come and confront somebody, and they're going to get caught, and this is going to be embarrassing, okay? And I hope you're not with this person when this Queen of Swords confronts them. You could be the Queen of Swords confronting somebody and finding something out, too, because somebody here knows somebody's location, or they got a, 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 a app where they're just GPSing somebody's phone. All right, I'm picking up on this. Somebody could have an iPhone here. Two of Cups, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Because somebody here is, like, 
making it seem like they're single, they're offering you this two of cups, they really want this with you. You know, you could have been seeing this person for a long time for somebody watching, and you didn't even know behind the scenes this person had someone, and that's why they were non-committal, or that's why they made a whole bunch of excuses not to commit to you. There was someone else. All right, and for some of you guys, this hasn't played out yet. Somebody's going to come towards you. They're going to be very handsome or beautiful and attractive, and they're going to uh, court you, and they're going to make everything seem so sweet, but then you're at this person's house and somebody pulls up, or you're out in public and somebody pulls up. It's so embarrassing, you know, so make sure you, 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 you're you doing your research, all right, with this person. This person is not being honest about something, and the truth is going to happen, and there's a tower. I can't make it up. The truth is going to happen. The truth is coming out about this this deceit and this betrayal, this deceiver, this professional cheater. And that's over here, Mr. Smooth or Mrs. Smooth. I heard Smooth B. Somebody here is like a Smooth B. And they're going to, you know, make everything seem so cool. But then all of a sudden, you find out they're already in a connection with somebody. They pull up and then there's a tower. And yeah, the Empress in reverse. Yeah, this is a karmic female. This karmic female could have children and a whole family you don't know about. Or this is an empress in reverse that's unhappy because they have children with this person and this person is courting you. And, and this is all coming out. King of Swords in the upright and the King of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Ooh, and you're the Nine of Pentacles. Whoever you are, you're the Nine of Pentacles. You got the Nine of Cups, so you're getting some sort of wish fulfillment. You got it going on. You're having a glow up. You're starting on a brand new cycle. All right? And as soon as you walk away from this person and, and you're going to come across the King of Cups in the upright. Now, this is somebody that's ready for love. They're emotionally balanced. Okay. And, and you're going to get into some sort of connection with this person or partnership. And then there's this King of Swords here. A King of Swords here. This could be like uh, somebody here could be going to court. This could be a lawyer. This could be a 30 figure. This could be somebody suing this Empress in reverse. On the other hand. This empress in reverse could have some legal issues, okay? She might have legal issues because when all that stuff, when it's all said and done, two people are getting into an altercation or, or somebody's being confronted here while they're out with somebody on a date because they thought this person was single, whether this is you or someone else around you. This is popping off, okay? And then this empress in reverse is going to have some legal issues. They're going to have to get a lawyer or there's somebody here that's an authority figure here, okay? But the page of cups is here. A, situ a connection is ending, a divorce over a betrayal or a separation or an altercation. This person's like the Knight of Wands. They come in and they go right out. All right? But this person's like a dark empath. This is not your soulmate. This person's like a finesser. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, but there's somebody here that the divine is sending into your life. That is, is your actual soulmate. All right? So this is like the devil's trick and confusion in your life is that... Somebody here is going to tell you everything you want to hear. They told you everything you want to hear and you believe this person was single. And you thought you were growing a connection or you thought that this person wanted something real. And all of a sudden, the tower moment happens and you find out the actual truth this person was hiding. Alright, so take it easy. Don't get yourself caught up in any altercations because it isn't worth it. Especially if somebody is like a deceitful person. They were not even worth your time. Everything happens for a reason for you to awaken or... For you to do your research before you actually believe somebody's lies or whatever. Make sure that they show you proof about where they live. They take you to their house. You see where they live. And um, you research them online. Whatever you got to do before you actually go out with somebody in public or let them come over to your house or anything like that of the source. Or you start to catch feelings because it's going to uh, really hurt you when this all happens. It's, it's going to make you feel some type of way and... You might, you, you know, you might be sad about this or somebody's going to be very sad about this because they were being betrayed and lied to. So there's a sudden job opportunity that's coming in, all right? And there could be like a friend or someone you know that's going to, or a family member or a friend or someone you know that's going to give you this opportunity or this offer or they're going to give you somebody's number and refer you for some sort of job or interview and it's going to go great and you're going to, get paid a lot of money to do whatever this job is this could be a side job or this could be a permanent job for somebody but you're going to be recognized for your work or your talent when you do this job and it might lead to something more stable up ahead with more money all right so even if it's a side job and you have a skill or a talent show up all right because that's going to lead to something more permanent when someone recognizes your skills okay so yeah your enemies are stuck like Chuck, having a hard time since they no longer have access to you. 
all right? They no longer have access to you, but this person's like somebody's GPSing somebody's location, and this person was like seemed like a cool person, male or female, but this person is like Venom, all right? And then I heard Venom and Poison Ivy are working together to trap you and get you stuck in a karmic situation, all right? So be mindful because Venom or Poison Ivy could be working together, and they could be sending this deceiver into your life. In order to get you involved in some sort of altercation or third party situation. Or this is all going to play out. It's being orchestrated. Alright. And there's a fire sign here in your energy that's wanting to speak to you. They found out the truth about this karmic or family member or friends. They're, this person found out the truth that they were being deceived. This person is rushing to make an offer or to bring you a gift or a huge windfall is coming. And they want to return a favor or invest in you. All right, somebody might want to give you a gift, return a favor, pay you money they owe you, just to try to make things good with you and to try to, like, have peace with you or reconcile with you again. Air sign, okay? There's an air sign that's getting exposed in the community for targeting you or trying to end your position at work or relationship. Somebody's very nosy or worried about you and they're pocket watching, worried about how you're making money. This person is sick mentally, it's because this person did a lot of spell work or they told a lot of lies about you and they tried to ruin you or reputation behind the scenes and everyone's seeing this person as a liar, as a fraud because you are doing good for yourself. You're, you're independent. You're not codependent. All right. So, yeah. A water sign, um, air, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This karmic is delirious and furious. This karmic is like obsessed with you, Aries. This karmic is like watching everything you do and obsess obsessing over you, making false allegations because this karmic isn't successful or this karmic's business is failing and your business is thriving or this karmic is left out in the cold and you're about to get in a relationship or something like that. This karmic is on a dark timeline for doing all this energetic work on you, all right, and is sitting there pointing a finger at you, feeling like this is all your fault or they just want to rage war on you and it's not a good idea. All right, somebody here ends up in the ambulance. Somebody here could have an overdose. Somebody here is overindulging because they're they're delusional, okay? There could be a water sign male as well that's doing this, that's delusional. And the earth sign that's experiencing delays to their manipulation. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this is backfiring. They didn't believe in your spiritual gifts. They didn't believe in your spiritual abilities until things started happening in their energy. And they, until things started back, like backfiring. Yeah, you're out of their league. Energetically, you're out of their league anyway, all right? So you don't want nothing to do with these type of low vibrational people that are manipulators and liars, okay? So they want to get you caught up into some sort of uh, love triangle or they're trying to get you caught up in some sort of altercation or something that's going to lead you to, to uh, lose everything you work for and this is not even worth it. So, yeah, be mindful who you're stepping out with. So they have to convince you that they're a good person in order for you to even deal with them. They're going to have to... Try to pretend there's somebody there or not. And they're trying to do little nice things for you, buy you gifts, or take you out just to convince you that they are who they say they are. But this person is like, is leading a double life. Seriously. this in Going out in public with this person, this person going to show you their true colors. All right? Because once you wake up to all this and it gets exposed, you're going to end things. You're going to end communication. You're going to end this false connection. Someone is definitely working with Poison Ivy and Venom. Venom is an energy vampire. Poison Ivy is a seafood karmic that's envious of you, Aries. And they're coming in to uh, deceive you. Or uh, they're going to try to send somebody into your life or try to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, they're trying to unleash their sexual entities and demons onto you too. So be mindful. I got a quick poem that I'm going to read to you guys before I get into this reading. Alright, and this poem is called Deceivers. A moment in time, you caught my eye. You seemed kind of shy. I didn't realize it was just a disguise. I opened my heart a little too fast. I was sure it would last. Looking back, I wanted this bad. So I overlooked each time you made me sad. Wow. Behind my back, you laughed. A deceiver will always do that. I looked in your eyes, your mouth full of lies. I woke up and realized you're not the gal or guy. Wow. You're not my gal or guy. It's a karmic lesson to get me close to heaven. Hit the road, Jack, and don't look back. I understand that it was your plan to hurt me all you can. Thank you for teaching me how to love myself. 
Now I can attract great wealth. Wow. So yeah, somebody he, he, somebody's also trying to hook you up with somebody on purpose. Like so, somebody also I'm picking up on this scenario too that somebody's trying to hook you up with somebody or someone trying to hook somebody up here with someone saying, hey, this is a friend. This this person's cool. Like they're single. They got this. But this is all a lie. This this person's hooking you up with somebody that's wearing a false mask. That's going to get you into a karmic connection and that's going to bring drama or chaos and conflict into your energy. And this is being orchestrated because they want to destroy your peace. All right. And these karmics will smile on your face all the time. They want to take your place. They're backstabbers. I don't know who says that, but that's what I heard. They're backstabbers. And so, yeah, they want to ruin you or your foundation or your joy or your confidence. So they're going to hook you up with somebody or, tell you, you know, take you out on a day. And then somebody else is going to pop up or something's going to happen here. I'm picking up on this. So let me know if this is you watching this video, if this resonates with anybody, that like you're feeling somebody here is like not telling you the truth about something. Yeah, bald head male came out. Good news. All right. Yeah, you're meant to be date night. I can't make it up. Somebody's going to take you out on a date night, and that's all hell is going to break loose there, or something's going to happen where you're going to see this person's true colors. Like, somebody's going to show up. Yeah, and this somebody that's been seeking revenge on you wants to set you up for this. Mm-hmm. Surrender to love. All right. Maybe you feel like you're going to surrender to love and let somebody into your life. And then and you've been dealing with this person because you feel like you need to surrender to love. But this person isn't who they say they are. Somebody has tattoos, male or female. All right. Motorcycle or bike. To be significant, the letter L, M, or N. All right. J, K, or L. I heard Jerome. J Gerald. Gerald. Jerome. Kenny, David, Louis or Louise, Frank or Frankie, Alex, Joel, Joanna, Hidden Money in Department of Treasury, all right, something about Hidden Money. All right, something about the hidden money or the Department of Treasury. All right, maybe they're going to contact you that there's some money that you need to claim. Some of you guys do have money in the Department of Treasury. You might find this out. All right. So you have some good news coming in. You've been manifesting something here for yourself. My beautiful loves, good news. Vacation getaway. And somebody's being released from prison. Or this person is somebody that just got out of jail. So they are living with somebody or somebody that just got out of jail that's living with somebody is going to come towards you. But, you know, be careful. This person's not going to tell you they're, where they're really at or where they're staying at or if they're dealing with somebody. Some That could be side message for somebody. This cheater or this player or manipulator or somebody that's getting out of jail for someone, not for everyone. All right. Coffee drinker. Somebody's a coffee drinker. A hacker or a scammer that's been trying to hack into your accounts is being arrested and they're going to jail. You might hear about this. You're a very talented artist. You're going to get a sudden offer, an opportunity. Somebody wants to work with you or this is like a sudden uh, contract or deal for some sort of uh, promotion or television show or series or modeling gig or I don't know what this is. This is like world-renowned energy, having a higher platform or doing something in the public eye. You're getting an offer, whoever you are. Take what resonates and leave the rest, my loves. All right, somebody's a different nationality than you, going to text you late at night. This person that was judging you, they're under judgment now. Somebody admires you, they admire your strength and your courage and your wisdom. Somebody has blue eyes, you are them. Somebody's very physically abusive, so be careful. Somebody is going to pretend that they're a nice person, but they are physically abusive. Or maybe you've been, you were physically abused by this karmic in the past. Fair-skinned females here trying to trap you. All right, be careful if you have a friend that you don't trust that's a fair-skinned female that's trying to trap you or get you caught up in a situation. Weak link, all right? Somebody's going to confess something. Somebody knows something about a hidden plot or something that they did in the past or the lies that somebody's been telling. Somebody knows or somebody's going to confess or they're just going to spill the tea about this person to you and they're going to tell you the truth. 
They know what this person is doing behind the scenes. They know this person's attached to someone else. Or they know this person's been low-key attacking you because they're envious of you or your relationship or connection. Red, red or black minivan, SUV or truck. All right. Something about child service workers showing up at somebody's house. All right. Somebody's been making reports about somebody here because they're resentful or bitter. So they wanted somebody's children to get taken. That's just messed up. A fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, they're coming towards you because they feel like they're your soulmate. I already said this in the be in, in beginning of this message. Somebody been asking friends about you or where your whereabouts because they want to come towards you. They're taking action. They want to give you a, a stable and real genuine offer. And there's an important phone call and you might have to take action. All right, but a fake friend is trying to set you up with somebody or set you up because they're going to tell a karmic where you're going out on your date or they're going to send somebody to where you're at. Like there's a fake friend that's very envious of you and they want to sabotage you, your relationship. They want to make you look bad in public or they've been doing this behind the scenes. They've been talking to a karmic behind the scenes. It's, it's, well, protect your energy, my love. That's all I got to say. I love you guys. If you're interested in a personal, my email's down below. If you're interested in my products, protection bracelets or spiritual bath or spiritual protection spray for your crown chakra email me thank you so much for your love and support till the next time namaste